Hey flower folks, welcome to Share Inspirations. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to make this fabulous wood-burned birdhouse using upcycled pallet wood and an upcycled kettle that I purchased at a Goodwill store. I've also used a few other tools that are very easy to obtain at um, the Dollar Tree and Harbor Freight and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So here is the tool that I'm talking about. This is an $8 tool uh, I heard that I purchased from um, Harbor Freight. I am by no means a professional wood burner so I did a um, trial run to see how I would do and this was the first trial run and then I did another one that stencils the boat, the leaves, and the lighthouse. These are all stencils that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and I tried to use different tips that came in the settings to achieve this look. Um, the best thing to do is find one that you really like and uh, go with that. Here's the stencil that I got from the Dollar Tree. This is the kind with feathers. And I got one more that is all nautical. The reason why I went with nautical is because I went, I live on a lake and I figured the one that I would make for myself would have all of these, um, these beauties that uh, have water related items. This is the palette wood that my husband put together in th these three palettes. And here is the kettle that I'm using. I eventually go ahead and removed the handle on the kettle because I felt like it was a little intrusive. So here is the um, tool. And this is the setting that I used. I like two, specifically this one as well as the one that's fully round, as I feel like it can do most everything. These are all the settings that it came with. Um, the, this is for the, the um, other kind of easy work that you wanna do. This is for cutting. And then I also have this leaf looking thing that I made the vine with um, in my trial runs. And for $8, I think that this is a great deal and you can get, and this one right here would be used for detailing. I feel like it's a great idea for um, uh, a wood burning project if you're a beginner like me. Here, what I've done is taken the kettle and drew a semi-circle so I can go ahead and write what I wanna write. What I'm going for is I'm gonna go ahead and freehand home tweet home on top of this and I'm going to go ahead and stencil in two feathers on each side that are circling inwards with one another, but they're not the same kind of feathers. Um, for these projects, I found a pencil and an eraser work really well. If you draw something wrong, you can just go ahead and um, erase it and start over. For me, it worked um, very well as far as uh, stenciling this in is concerned. If you don't have stencils, you can also just freehand this. So to demonstrate how well the eraser worked, um, I actually recorded this. This was a uh, accident leaf that I drew on the other side and I didn't like the way it looked. So I removed it so I can draw another, another uh, kind stencil in another variety that uh, is is inverted inside so it's a little bit curved and uniform and as here you can see how clearly and clean it came out and then i did the kind that i was looking for and not only is it curved in it but it's uniform if you notice it's leveled um one is not higher than the other and this is the kind of look that i was going for i am going to go ahead and do more stenciling as you see right here. This is all of the freehanded and stenciling completed. The Home Tweet Home is written freehand. The uh, couple's names as well as the wedding date is also freehanded. The palm trees, the birds, the feathers are all stenciled in. 
I think it came out really well and let's get started on wood burning this and I think that would look beautiful on this really nice palette woods. What I've done is use the kind of palette wood that still had a little bit of life left in it so it can it can hold up in the weather outside because it's going to be hung up hung outside on a tree. The idea here is either to mount it on a wall or a tree. And this is how I'm going to go ahead and um, get started. This is a very slow process, so don't burn yourself. Don't be in a rush. Just slowly start. If it gets, if the tool gets too hot for you in 20 minutes or so, go ahead and put it down. Give it a, a few minutes and then come back to it. You can also try and use different kinds of pens that I was showing you earlier, different settings to see which one works better, but you have to wait for it to cool off completely or use pliers to remove the tip and replace it. And here is the first finished wood burn layer. I have two leaves and I also have the um, palm trees and the birds that came out really well. I think that this particular um, project and how little it costed. It's a wonderful winter project to keep yourself busy and come, come spring you can have a little birdie in um, your garden. And this is a complete finished look of how it looks right before I put in the kettle, glue in the kettle. I have gone ahead and uh, given it a finish with mineral oil. You can go ahead and use wood finish if you have it. I try and utilize things that I I have sitting around in the guard um, in my storage and this was one of the things that I had um, this is a added cost to the uh, $10 that it costed me for um, the wood burning tool for eight dollars and um, a few dollars for the kettle so I finished this in about ten ten dollars um, total if you don't include the mineral oil and this glue that I had also sitting around so even if you added the glue cost and the mineral oil, it would still be under $20 and you can make this beautiful birdhouse as a gift. Not only is this going to last a very long time, but it's a personalized gift and it's easy on your pocket. So this is the finished look, the behind finished look of the palette. My husband went ahead and cut this. Um, in a way that it's easy to hang, easy to mount either on a wall or a tree. And he's the one who put in the hangers. Um, I also finished this behind, like the back side of it, um, with mineral oil. You can use wood finish if you like, and a colored wood finish, a tint one if you like. But just to give it the finishing um, look so it would last a long time, I went ahead and um, made sure that everything was well finished with the mineral oil so here is how it looks glued in polished oiled up and this is ready to go and i'm going to go ahead and wrap it and give as the wedding gift and i hope that the couple would enjoy it i also made one similar to this for my own garden and I couldn't resist, obviously. So here's the one that I made for my garden. This one has the boat, the dolphin, the lighthouse. It says Shears Garden, it says Home Tweet Home. And I also made, these are free-handed um, bouquets that I put on there. Um, just tried to freehand to see how I could do. I, I made one on a teacup and uh, one in a bowl since I am all about cut flowers I had to have cut flowers on there and I thought that the green kettle for this looked very well uh, when I hung it in my garden what I did was I put in some uh, pine needles for the birds to get the signal I hope you guys enjoyed the video and make one for yourself tell me about it and I will see you in the next video guys bye